Hey folks, this is the Moto Razor for 2019. Yep, there it is. Beautiful, beautiful piece of hardware. Uh, to give you a feel for how big this is, it's about the same size as a Sony Xperia 5. So it's pretty small. It's basically almost the same size as a modern smartphone, but narrower. It's about two thirds of the width of your standard smartphone. So let me walk you through some of this. Obviously, the first thing is this is a full screen device that folds, as you can see, right? It folds and then snaps like a flip phone. There's actually a spring-loaded mechanism there, and you can open this with one hand, as you can see. So that's pretty awesome and exciting. Now, uh, you know, it's your standard, pretty much stock Moto Android experience. There's nothing really too crazy here. You know, everything works the way you expect. You know, there's like your usual apps and you can go through them like normal. The thing that stands out for me is if you look really carefully here, you don't really see much of a fold. Like you don't see a, an impression in the display that shows you where the display folds, unlike the Galaxy Fold, for example. You'll notice on the bottom there's a chin. This chin is there for multiple reasons. The first is, of course, fingerprint sensor. The second is there's a big speaker in there and a cavity that resonates so that you can actually get better audio. There's also the USB Type-C connector down here for charging, it's 18 watt fast charging. And then, you know, you have this beautiful 21 by nine display. It's um, actually 6.2 inches. And in terms of specs, it's a 2142 by 876 display. So it's a bit better than 720p, but not quite 1080p. Um, the front display is a 2.7 inch 800 by 600 display. So they're both AMOLED, but of course the inside display is plastic AMOLED. The outside display is glass AMOLED. Now the other thing you'll notice is when you close this phone, that in the front here there is a camera. It's a 16 megapixel f1.7 camera with no OIS, and it's got a little flash underneath there, right? So nothing too fancy, but it gets the job done. The nice thing is that you can shoot selfies with the front camera because you can use a small display here as your preview display. But in addition, there is a five megapixel front facing camera up here where the earpiece is. So along with the earpiece is a five megapixel front facing camera. And you can see the display has this really cool notch, slight curve at the top and slight curve at the bottom as well, right? So that's actually very unique to the Razer. In the back, you have this kind of grippy finish and a Razer and a Moto logo. There's really nothing back here. Uh, just so you know, this phone has a 2510 milliamp hour battery. Actually, it's two batteries. There's a pair of batteries and they are distributed between the two halves, but for a total of 2510 milliamp hour. Six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and a Snapdragon 710. A weird choice considering the 730 has replaced the 710. I'm not too upset that there is no uh, 800 series processor on here, but I'm surprised that it's a 710, not a 730. As you can see, it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet. And, you know, there is no headphone jack here, obviously. Let me walk you through the edges. There's really nothing on the left-hand side here. On the bottom, you have that USB Type-C port that I mentioned before. On the right-hand side, you can see here, I'm not sure if the camera will focus, but it's a volume rocker and power lock key. And that's it, there's really nothing on top either. Um, what's interesting is that there's no SIM slot on this phone. This phone uses an eSIM exclusively. So that's actually a pretty interesting decision. Obviously, no microSD expansion either. Uh, it's going to be available on Verizon exclusively in the US and it's going to be available on other carriers and unlocked in other parts of the world. Uh, it will be selling for $14.99. So that's it folks, that's my quick hands-on with the new Moto Razor here in Los Angeles. I hope you enjoyed this, please subscribe, please like this video, tell your friends, click the little notification icon for more videos. Uh, we appreciate it. Also, this is a compliment to the podcast, mobiletechpodcast.com. Please subscribe. I'm on Google, Apple, Pocket Cast, Overcast, TuneIn Radio, 
If you want to know what I think of this phone once it's out, you should listen to the Mobile Tech Podcast. That's it, folks. Cheers, everyone.